What's up everybody, in this video I'm gonna show you how you can achieve this awesome holographic effect in Photoshop using the gradient map. I will guide you through all the steps required in order to achieve this effect. I will show you all the colors that you need to use and all the percentages that you have to put in the gradient map to achieve this effect and this one as well. Before we start this video, don't forget to like it, subscribe to my channel and tick the notification bell so you will be notified every time I post a new video and let's get started. So in order to achieve this first effect, this holo number two, we are going to create a new Photoshop file. It doesn't quite matter the size that you use. I'm going to use 2000 by 2000, 72 pixel resolution and import your image. I'm using this image from Unsplash. I've cropped it a bit and removed the background and then duplicate it and put it on the upper right side. So we have like two images like this. Now the second step is you have to create a gradient map. Click in here, tick gradient map and this will pop up. Double click on the gradient values and then open the gradient map menu. Okay, I will show you all the colors that you have to use. First of all, it will be location 0% and the color will be FDFEEC. Hit OK. The second color I've used 20% and the color values is FCF3A7. OK. Third color location 30% F8A8EC. Fourth one on 30%, use the color 715AFC. Next one, location 55%, FDB 488. The next one is 68%, FDF 39D. Location 80%, color 92F AD7. The last color, it's on 100% location and the color is 735 CFF. And now this is like your final gr gradient. Give it a name and save it for later use because it's like a really awesome color palette, like a holographic gradient color palette. Change the name and then click new. You're done with the first, with the first gradient. Now you have to play with the values until you have like achieved the image that you wanted. The values depend on the image size that you are using. So this is the first one. And now you have to use the command control alt shift and E to create oops to create a new layer with the gradient map applied without the gray and noise. I will teach you how to use the noise effect later on this video. Let's just delete it for now and let me show you the second effect. It's the same principle only different colors in the gradient map. It's a location 0 and the color is 92FAD7. Second one, location 20%, 9B26AC. Third one is 35%, 2BDE80. Next one, it's EF9316 and it's located at 60%, 89% color 6512A0, maybe put it like 90. The next color in the last one is location 100%. 2F2735. This is it, guys, and just play with the values. I think that this one looks really good. Use the same principle, Ctrl, Shift, Alt, and E. I learned a new technique and how to create a gradient effect and it's really, really powerful. And I will show you how to do it. Go to Layer, New, Layer, click Color Gray, Mode, Overlay, and then tick Fill with Overlay, Neutral Color, 50% Gray, hit OK. Then you have to go into Blur, Blur Gallery and then Field Blur, Blur 50 pixels, 15 pixels and then you have to play with the amount of grain that you want to use but for my color I think that 5 is more than enough because I ha I'm working on 2000 by 2000 document size and if I put like 20% amount, it will be like really, really grainy. Maybe 5 to 7 will work. Size 25, roughness 50, color 0, highlights 100%. Click preview, click high quality, and then hit OK. And you have like your grain. So yeah, guys, this is like the holographic slash iridescent gradient map effect in Photoshop. I hope you guys enjoyed it. So yes, guys, this is basically the end of this video. I hope that you liked it. I hope that you enjoyed this new technique. And if so, please consider liking this video, subscribing to my channel and ticking the notification bell. Until the next one, stay safe, wear a mask and create more. Bye bye.